Hey everyone, Jen and Conrad here with the White Collar Vagabond. First of all, we want to thank all of you for following our journey. We love hearing feedback from every one of you. It makes things so much more fun to have your engagement. Secondly, we want to give you a quick rundown of the first leg of our journey as we're preparing for the next portion of our trip. We just wrapped up our Central American leg of our travels and man was it a blast. As you know, we drove over 4,000 miles all the way from Atlanta, Georgia through Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, and finally completed our Central American journey in Costa Rica. All in all, it was a fantastic experience. Sometimes a little unnerving, but overall well worth the experience. So here are a few things that we've learned from our Central American journey. Okay, here's our top list. Number one, we are thrilled that we did not wait for retirement to enjoy our lives. There are too many amazing places to visit and not enough time so embarking on this journey has been very rewarding for us. Number two, in Latin America, anything is possible, for the right price that is. This includes getting through the borders quickly and without hassle, paying off crooked cops to avoid a ticket or worse, and getting your passport and car papers stamped in one country, all while enjoying your time in another country. Number three, don't trust the cops. And four, the Spanish language is different in every Latin country. And number five, really important for Jen, don't forget the sunscreen. Number six, trying to sell a car to a Mayan family is a whole family affair. Number seven, the fruit just tastes better in Central America. And number eight, there are dozens of ways to earn a living on the road. Number nine, there are more expats living in Central America than I expected to see. And number 10, there are numerous opportunities to start lucrative businesses abroad. Number 11, our company is not only surviving our travel, it's thriving, and we're actually much more productive than we are in the States. Number 12, Central America has many different words for speed bumps, as Eskimos have for the word snow. And unfortunately, we know this all too well. Yeah, with a flat tire in Mexico. Anyway, <laughs> uh, number 13, you can in fact become a morning person, even if you never have been one, especially when the sun rises by 5 a.m. every day. Number 14, not only does a chicken bus provide cheap form of uh, transportation, it also provides amazing entertainment. <laughs> number 15, a snake is a snake is a snake until it's a viper. And number 16, all insects are supersized in Central America. Number 17, some people like to astral travel. Number 18, there are phenomenal opportunities to invest in beautiful properties. Number 19, you can get a two-hour massage for only $40. Yes, I said a two-hour massage for $40. And number 20, all Americans are rich, or at least that's what the perception is. Number 21, it is much more pleasant to wake up to a rooster than it is to wake up to a blaring alarm clock, even when the rooster starts crowing at 4 a.m. Number 22, there is an adventure waiting to happen around every corner. Number 23, time really does fly when you're having fun. And 24, traveling with our dogs is much easier than we expected. And number 25, many young couples travel with their kids for extended periods of time and say it is easy as well. Number 26, and most importantly, we have learned that we have so much to be grateful for. We hope you've enjoyed being a part of our adventure so far, and we look forward to sharing our journey with you going forward.